Predictions and Shit Podcast, Hate Me, Love Me, There's No In Between. So, yeah, everybody's talking about it. So, I had to do a celebrity vlog, no matter what. Dwight Howard came out the closet in so little words. But it is what it is, bro. It's 2023. We don't care if you like boys, look, uh, girls. We don't care if you, uh, we don't care if you, you, you got him, he, her. She, them, they on your goddamn email, goddamn signature. It doesn't matter. You're in Taiwan right now. We already know what it is. There's a bunch of lady boys out there anyway in Bangkok, Taiwan. It is what it is. You're living your best life. But the question is, you've always been questioned. That's what you like to do. It is what it is, man. Don't don't talk that shit. Oh, what I do in my bedroom stays in my bedroom. Nah, bro. Niggas been wearing your jerseys. Niggas been living their best lives. They've been rooting for Dwight Howard. You got the championship with LeBron when you was a, a Laker. Don't, don't start that shit, man. Just tell us the truth, man. We want to hear the truth. Whatever I'm doing in my bedroom is my damn business. That they went to his room, took off their clothes, and kissed consensually. The Dwight Howard coming out saga has taken an increasingly dramatic turn. And the recent revelations may not only rock the steady world Fair of TikTok, use. but also expose some very familiar names. Right after Dwight publicly admitted participating in a thrilling intimate adventure involving at least one other man, the word started spreading that Dwight had been spotted in the company of our favorite closeted buddies, Diddy and Will Smith. Closet buddies, Diddy and Will Smith. Look here, man. My name is Dwight, too. You got me looking crazy, man. I go by Prediction Ascension Podcast. It is what it is, man. Prediction Ascension Hit me up. You already know. But Dwight, Dwight, it's hard to say my name. Pause. Dwight, just come out and say what you need to say. Fair use. In case you missed this drama back in July 2021, the former NBA star Dwight Howard found himself accused by a man of a rather serious offense. This person claimed to have had an encounter at Dwight's place, and the basketball star allegedly coerced him into making out with an other gentleman dressed as a woman. By introducing him to a man dressed as a woman, Harper said the man called himself Kitty. Now it's all been under the wraps of denial of a such a cringy activity, but feels like Dwight has finally mustered the courage to tackle these allegations, and you won't believe what he's saying. While he didn't outright deny his shenanigans with the two men, he did assert that everything was consensual. They would never say or do anything to hurt or endanger anyone. But there's they a choice used to lab lab. The court documents filed by the alleged victim tell a different story, one that paints Dwight in a less than flattering light. Consequently, Dwight now finds himself in the legal crosshairs, facing a civil lawsuit in Georgia with his attorney claiming the alleged victim is only hunting for Howard's money. What was a private consensual encounter was made public for profit, and Mr. Howard looks forward to bringing the truth to light in a court of law. While Dwight is out there defending his personal life and image that are hanging on a thin and breakable thread, the wild rumor mill is working overtime. And it's been now suggested that Dwight has always been a secret member of the elite Hollywood club, among other famous but closeted men like Diddy and Will Smith. Yeah, I'm sure every time I do something. And it's not the end of the allegations. Amidst the lawsuit that Dwight is facing, it's also been reported that the former Lakers player is involved in the same horrible activities that are aimed to take advantage of considerably younger individuals. And if you've been following recent Hollywood gossip, you'd know that Diddy and Will Smith have both faced accusations along these lines multiple times. As a result, fans are starting to speculate that this rabbit hole is much deeper and murkier than initially thought, and Dwight may be a part of some shady connection to these celebs, and this connection may have some intimate nature as well. Whatever I'm doing in my bedroom is my damn business. I bet Diddy and Will Smith have a lot to teach. The rumor about them being fruity is nothing new on social media. However, they have never been openly caught and slapped with a lawsuit, apparently. Like Steven Smith say, man, we don't care. We don't care on how it goes. But like she said before on Celeb Live Nation, they never been hit with lawsuits before about people playing with their brown holes. It is what it is, B. Dwight Howie, they got to come off and they show videos of you touching somebody nuts on the actual bench of the Houston Rockets when you was a Rocket player. I think he was a Rocket player at that time. Houston Rockets. It's crazy. You got to live your life, man, but you need to come out. If you came out and joined the LGBTQAI+, they would actually support you more, and these suckers won't try to come after you. But if you keep trying to hide it in the closet, they not coming out to help you. They not going to do it. It is what it is, man. Dwight Howard, man, you got some demons inside, but lay low, stay in Taiwan, 
faces in court, give that little scallywag a couple of dollars and stuff like that, and continue to live your life. But it is what it is, man. If you like playing with brown holes, it is what it is. You like getting pegged, it is what it is, man. It's 2023. I ain't surprised at nothing no more. Whether it's Will or Diddy or anybody else in this motherfucker. Peeing on girls, acting like girls, urinals, men are do- doing this. You heard of Instagram models, they thought pockets. They getting shitted on and eat buckets of feces for 50 grand in Dubois. Because these sheets and all that shit, that shit got exposed. So do what you want to do, man. I ain't surprised, man. People do everything for money. But it is what it is. It's really lust. And lust will get you in trouble. Lust is one of the goddamn um, seven deadly sins. Or six deadly sins. One of these motherfuckers. I don't know. Gluttony. Gluttony. Um, lust. Greed. Envy. Hate. It, it, add it up, man. You ain't got to live like that no more. Be who you are in your truth and repent yourself and you still get into the kingdom of heaven. It is what it is, man. Predict such podcast. Hate me, love me. Just go in between. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Help me off the algorithm. I'm bringing the heat, man. I got time on my hands.